Indy of about 35, 40 kilos. Alan's got the grinder elite there and a the dog fight. It's a lovely fish, circle hook of course. Of course he pulled it like a pro always. We're gonna stick it back. Well done Alan. Thanks. You want a hand putting it back? Yes please. <laughs> You're getting old, that's all. No. Getting tired. Getting tired, eh? Thanks, bro. Lovely guys. What a lovely specimen of a fish. Okay guys, we're here this afternoon, it's about 5 o'clock now. There's been quite a few bites by some decent fish, sandies mainly. And uh, as you can see, it looks like the light is getting a bite here right now. But what we're going to do, circle lock, 10-0, 200 pound wire, so they don't get cut off. And all I'm doing is just softening up my, my bait so I get more smell going. The sea isn't big at all, it's quite small, so I'm trying to get as much smell out as I can. Uh, my mackerel unfortunately are still frozen hard so it's going to take a while for it to defrost in this cold water and it's been blowing northeastly for the last five days now so the water is extremely cold so the best thing to do is get as much flavor out as you can and as you can see I'm just beating it so I can soften up my bait a bit ah there we go it looks much better much tastier, nothing fancy, no dangles, just a simple circle look through the actual lips. And that's pretty much what my bait's gonna look like at the end of it. And there it is, nothing fancy. There we go, guys. There's the bait, let's go throw and see what happens. And now the hard part starts. The two minute to three minute wait before you get a bite. So we'll see how it goes. Okay guys, the one thing about here is you don't need to throw far. That's the nice part about this whole thing. Mo's using the, the 15 foot to uh, tournament if I remember correctly. Yeah. Uh, he's got his uh, Dawa J braid 50 pound. I'm using Gator braid. And we're just going to hold on tight here and see what happens in the next 10 to 15 minutes. Hopefully one of us get a bite, which I'm sure we will. Later on, I think we're going to go more to the beach area. As soon as the tide starts pushing, I think we're going to go more to the beach area and go and have a look there. We've got a lot of paddlers coming here and we don't want to interfere with the paddlers too much. So that's the plan as it stands. Let's see how it goes. Yesterday, we got here at about 5, half past 5. And literally every throw that we had was a bite by either a diamond, a sandy. Uh, there was the odd little grey shark that was around. Uh, big thorn tails, big thorn tails, and some nice size sandies were actually hooked, but not landed. Um, one thing I can say it was because of the five days northeasty, the water was a lot colder, a lot dirtier. Today you can see the water is a lot cleaner than what it actually is. Um, you're most probably going to get diamonds when it gets dark. Uh, I'm positive you're going to get diamonds when it gets dark. Um, you might even get a couple of brown skates today. It's that kind of condition, hot, muggy. I put money on it, someone's going to land a big honeycomb here. Because that is the perfect condition today, is for that big honeycomb here. Nice sea, off to the east, light westerly. There's going to be some fish hooked. I've been here for about three minutes now. And there we can see you got Villa over there. He's just gone away with the fish. And it definitely looks like a decent fish. It's taking line on him at the moment. But like I said, you might have a problem with all the paddlers paddling around you. But it's not a big fish at the moment. We'll see how it goes. Oh, here we go, guys. There we go, guys. There we go. He's got my line. And this is the only problem, unfortunately, is uh, one fish there has gone over three of our lines now. So he's actually dropped mine. Thank goodness. Drop mine, so that's okay. I'm happy <laughs> again. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Just hooked a big sand shark. I don't know if he knows how big it is. And as you can see, he's using the Catalina. No. What is it? No. Saltiga. Saltiga. Oh, Saltiga. Hey, old man. No, I'm good. Ah, oh, there we go, my man. 
They got Vina five minutes and then we got guys. There it goes, there it goes. And gets myself a pedal. He's a bit whistled off at the moment, as you can see. now I know when he was down to Mossel Bay straight sorry when he was in straight spot he fought one of those for nine and a half hours so you can see those things those thorn tails are flipping strong when they want to sit on the sand you don't move them so what he did was the right thing to pull it as hard as he could as fast as he could so the fish didn't get time to actually sit on the bottom and actually rest and that's how we learn about fishing guys you want to catch fish like that? Pull hard. <laughs> Pull hard as you can. It's the only way you land those big fish. He's in the front in the bricks. Huh? Hey, are you running here? I just saw the fish uh, ran into the bricks and started rubbing against the rocks and I got cut off with my leader. <laughs> Unlucky, time to try another leader. <laughs> Going away again with another little fish. If he doesn't drop me, here he comes, here he comes. Smaller fish, smaller fish, eating nicely. They are committing. Okay, he's committing. Sandy. Yeah, Sandy's a bit upset at the moment. And Sandy's a bit upset at the moment, but yeah, 30 kilos. Mo, can I have my headlamp out the bag there, please? But I've said this one. <laughs> Ladies and 
that's the end of a lovely session down here. Time to go home. That ribbon tail gave me a hiding there. Unfortunately, my braid went around one of those doorlaces with all the barnacles there. Doesn't matter how hard I actually pulled, it would not come. But this fish is unbelievable. This is why we come here, guys. Thank you very much for watching.